Hey guys! I'm here right now. Hey guys, I'm over right here. And, um, apparently, I have not... Okay. So... That's something I wanted to say about this. Okay. I usually, you know how I usually go with a, Hey guys, Justin I should be here. You know when I say that? Okay, this is kind of weird that I wasn't able to say that right here. But, however, let's try this again. But before we do it, I'd like to say there there's a huge, huge, huge reason why I wasn't able to start doing these videos. One, I think school time took away my time of doing these death battle these death battle reactions. Two, I have I feel like I want to do something uh, more stuff on the channel, but I can't because of school. But maybe somewhere around the three weeks in winter, we might I might be able to do something. Hmm, maybe I can do something during the winter. So I don't know. So anyways, let's retry this again with a better, much better one. Hey guys, Joseph and I should be here now. Today we're going to be reacting to Batgirl vs. Better Gwen. Okay, now for this one, I'm not excited for this one. I'm kind of not excited for to watch this. Now look, okay, as I said before, I was busy with school, so that's why I wasn't able to, um get to this one, so I knew, so when I was kicking in, and then I remembered that this came out. Okay. So, anyways. Now, yes, I had history between the two. But however, yes, I'm going to say something around here. But, however, okay, let's say this right now. Okay, so, before I start reacting, I'd like to say I do not own the original video, okay? So, if you guys want to watch the original video, I'll leave it linked in the description so you guys can go watch it. Okay? So, anyways, let's begin. Okay, then. Let's start reacting, alright? Three, two, one, go. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You can take them anytime, day or night, and even on an empty stomach, so you can be ready whenever the moment arises. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at a pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Since Blue Chew prepares and ships directly, they're cheaper than the pharmacy, and you don't even need to leave the house. We've got a special deal just for you guys. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code BATTLE. Just pay $5 in shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E-CHU.com promo code Blue BATTLE Chew. to try it free. Okay, Blue Chew, the Blue Chew Battle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bad girl versus better win. Barbara going to win safety. Who runs the world? The ladies! So obviously there's a bunch of awesome crime-fighting chicks out there. Like Barbara Gordon, DC Comics vigilante known as Batgirl. And, Spider and Marvel's Gwen Stacy, the one you know as Spider Gwen. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Here we go. Let's do this. Barbara Gordon always had a connection to crime fighting. Her father was Gotham City's police commissioner, commissioner Gordon. and she idolized the legendary superhero Batman. Batman. So she whipped up her own bad costume to crash a police ball. Yeah, she's a rebel. Mm -hmm. But not twist! The criminal crashed it first and she wound up saving the day. This sparked a fire in Barbara. A fire for justice. And a drive to confront crime on her own. With this new mission came another goal. To officially join Batman and Robin. As the next Bat-ass crash fighter, <laughs> Batgirl. You know... How come she's called Batgirl when Dick gets to be Robin? Her identity and individuality shouldn't be anchored to the patriarchal idea that women are publicly defined by the men in their life. Uh, what? <laughs> now, joining the Bat family wow. wasn't easy. The dynamic duo weren't exactly keen on adding a third wheel. But Batgal worked hard to prove herself. And she's not just a tough fighter, she's super smart. 
With a strong understanding of technology and computer hacking, Batgirl knew she could prove useful to a team that relies on tech. Yep. Like, you know, Batman and Robin. Mm -hmm. How could the Bat and the Bird say no? And after settling into the Batcave, she honed her skills by training with the Batman himself. Mm -hmm. was basically Martial arts. The world's greatest ninja times a thousand. Not like she was some rookie before that, though. Her cop dad had her study a bunch of martial arts like judo and karate. Of course, Batgirl wears her own custom bat suit, lined with Kevlar and filled to the brim with advanced technology. It's basically a slim down combination of military grade armor and spy gear that even James Bond would be jealous of. Heck, Batman's version helped him survive this humongous explosion. Look wow. at the size of that thing! She also added plenty of her own tools to her arsenal for okay. an extra advantage. What is it? Everything from a taser to pepper spray, concussion bombs, smoke bombs, and foam bombs that can bind people in place. Wait, hold up. Pepper spray? <laughs> Since when did, she, when did she have that? Pepper spray, why? What's with all the bombs? I don't know. Of course, she's got batarangs. Dummy, yeah. here I come. No! I'm just dying to help. No! Oh no! It's dummy again! Aw, oh, come on! I, I thought you. Oh, I thought you were gone in Archie Sonic vs. Wally West! I thought you were gone! It felt so normal without you, but then I remembered in Red Hood vs. Winter Soldier, you came back. It came back. Here we go. Everyone knows about the basic shuriken the bats are famous mm -hmm. for. Ow. But Miss Gordon also carries an electric so variant. Oh! Is he okay? Uh, well, that was... Yeah, oh. that's, that's a very nice <laughs> of you. That you never... You never appreciate me. You know what? If, it, if there was an award for being nice, you... You wouldn't win it. You, you did hear me? Those are awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shot it! Oh, they blew him up! <laughs> anyway, bad girls also got guns, but like non bullet ones. What? She's got a gun that shoots sleeping gas, a gun that shoots a grappling hook, and a gun that shoots batarangs. What? Because why would you throw something when you can fire it out of a gun? What? She's good enough to dodge bullet fire and avoid electricity from live wire. No, that's not. Awesome. basically just a scarier version of Blue Jamie Fox from that one movie about amazing spiders. No! Dirty Boopsick! Dirty Boopsick, why did you have to make me go back to that movie? Boopsick, why did you have to. Oh, goodness. Why did you have to make me remind me of that Spider Man movie? Why? I thought I erased it from my memory. I thought it was gone. But then you had to bring it up. Darn it. I just remembered. I kind of liked it back then, but then I rewatched it. I kind of realized, okay, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> but why did you have to do it? <laughs> why? Fox from that okay. one movie about amazing spiders. Also, Bat Bart's right. tough enough to take a five-story fall or have a friggin' building explode while she's inside. Oh my goodness. Damn, girl. You're unstoppable! Well, until she was shot by the Joker from the waist down. Ah! Uh, with the loss of her legs, she rallied around her peers and kept fighting the good fight as Oracle. Remember those computer skills? Yes. Well, they sure came in handy here, along with her photographic memory. Plus, she could dodge bullets while in a freaking wheel. What? Man, I bet she'd kick ass at murder ball. She's <laughs> apart from the likes of Batman and Robin. She even learned stick fighting while still paralyzed. Wow. She could beat your ass even while sitting on hers. What can't she do in that wheelchair? Well, well besides standing. Walk. Not oh. Too long ago, she eventually received neural implants in her brain and spine that let her walk again. Unfortunately, these devices are vulnerable to short circuiting and AI hacking, but they're an acceptable risk and have been improved over time to resist such incursions. Wow. Which just makes her that much harder to beat. I mean, she's strong enough to outmuscle a giant mutant shark and suplex a fully grown tiger. Move over, Joe Exotic. Make way for the Tiger Queen. Thanks to her police father and her experience with the Bat family, Barbara Gordon's become a well rounded protector of her city. Crazy to think how mm -hmm. far the wannabe sidekick has come. Yes. She's really stepped out of Batman's shadow and become her own hero. Yep. The goddamn Batgirl. Oh. Overstepping yourself a little? Try me. 
I think I remember this one. Okay, I think that was from Batman the Animated Series. No. No, wait. Superman the Animated Series. Because if I remember correctly, I think in that show was when Batman was in... I think it was like... Was it one of the episodes where, uh... If I remember correctly, that... I remember him, like, kind of in a few episodes, like... When, uh... Bat if I remember correctly, when Batman's didn't... When Superman was disguised as Batman. And it's kind of weird that I remember some shows. Like this. Okay, here we go, Spider One. Go on, Stacy. Before Mary Jane, everyone's favorite spider superhero, Peter Parker, dated a girl named Gwen Stacy. But then she fell off a bridge and died. The end. Except that isn't the end. The universe is full of possibilities. What if, in another timeline, that never happened? What if Peter never found that radioactive spider that made him Spider Man in the first place? So what is it? What if the superhero was, was Gwen? Gwen? Welcome to Earth 65. Yes. This Gwen was a teen kicking back in New York City. She's a drummer for her high school band and the, the Mary Janes. Police chief. And she's this world's one and only Spider Gwen. Spider Woman. Spider Gwen. Though know her as Spider Gwen. Mm -hmm. With her cool powers, she got busy fighting crime. But hey, who can blame her for showing up a bit? She Wait, what? Whatever a spider can. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> she dislikes Eminem. Wait, <laughs> she dislikes Eminem. <laughs> she dislikes Eminem. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, well, I get you hate Eminem. Eminem. Maybe because of the fact that he distract other people, one of the rappers that Eminem is afraid to diss. Maybe it's the fact that you dislike him because he's afraid that you will, he will diss you. Showing up a bit. She does whatever a spider can. Yep. Though her police father didn't approve, insisting Spider Woman could use her powers for the good of others. However, her close friend, Peter Parker, superpowered Peter of this world, had a different take. He was getting bullied all the time and idolized Spider Gwen's power. So, of course, he figured the only way to stop the bullies was to get powers like hers. But Except he becomes, he the, he becomes the lizard. He Become lizard. Peter becomes. Okay. Yeah. Stacy was forced to subdue. Peter ultimately succumbed to his experiments, dying in her arms. His death turned Spider Woman into a fugitive on the run, but also inspired her to take her father's advice. Mm -hmm. It was time to step up as a superhero. superhero. With her spiderific powers, she can crawl on walls and stick to any surface. Imagine you're sitting on your couch, being all that is man. And you look up at your ceiling. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that scene, Spider Verse. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> Spider-Woman also has the classic spider, spider sense, sense, which constantly scans her surroundings and alerts her to incoming danger. How many times have we said the word spider so far? Yep. We get to 50, do we get a free taco? Thanks to her I spider want one. sense, Gwen's move fast enough to dodge bullets, lasers, and lightning from Electro. Whoa. On his best day, classic Spider-Man's even dodged beams of light. And yes. for a bit before he got smacked. She's tough enough but. to power through point-blank explosions just as well as electrocution. Wow. And yes, she has similar powers as other spider people like main universe Peter. Yes. Who survived a massive explosion that annihilated the top of the skyscraper. Mm -hmm. And she's strong enough to punch Rhino through a wall. Oh. Another animal and like over ten tons. But of course, to truly fit the role of Spider-Woman, she needed one last thing. What? Thanks to Janet Van Dyne, a.k.a. the Wasp, mm -hmm. Gwen received her very own web shooters. Wow. Why do these people keep using sticky stuff that just gets everywhere? <laughs> and it grows. The work fluid isn't just sticky, but incredibly strong. Hey! The tensile <laughs> spider reportedly reached to 10 out. Alien sludge guy I guess he has a 10 out. I forgot. Being, well, Venom, 
Gwen took the symbiote for herself, formed into her new suit, her power was fully restored. Oh yes, she's back in black. I should note this version of Venom is a bit different from the one you're most familiar with. Mm -hmm. It was lab created and not nearly as potent or powerful. Oh. It can force talons, camouflage, and do some limited shape shifting. Oh my but goodness. But Venom won't be reforming from a puddle of goo or anything crazy like that. Also, she can create even more spiders? What? Who the hell came up with that? <laughs> I guess the only problem is the symbiote's weak to loud sounds and fire. It's basically scared of a metal concert. Ironic, considering its preferred look. But it's still Venom, and its violent nature tore Gwen apart. Oh my goodness. Eventually, she wound up unmasked and indicted. What do you mean unmasked? Her name's Spider Gwen. Everyone should have figured that out. Have you been paying attention? What? Yes, Wiz. Badass spider chick kicked lots of ass. <laughs> After serving her time uh. and even gaining control of the symbiote, shifting it into her more iconic getup, Gwen took a trip to the mainline 616 Earth. Yeah, it was about as popular as Spider-Man and they wanted to jam her in the universe. What? There, she regained her secret identity, but since there were a few other spider women running around, she took on a new moniker. Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider! That's right! This chick's too good to protect one world, she's got two! What? It's awesome to see how far she's come, from teenage show-off to guardian of the multiverse. And that's why I work alone. Oh. Wow, I haven't watched that part of my show. Alright, the combatants are set, and we've run the table for all possibilities. But while these gals have survived some close shaves in the past, you too can okay, get so we're gonna skip this series. Then. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a discussion before they get we get onto this. Okay, so as I preferred, it's gonna be another back row for the Spider Gwen. <laughs> I highly doubt it. It's gonna be a not. I mean, what I meant to say was, well, Batman versus Spider Man. Well, yes, Gwen has gotten the symbiote. Gwen can scale to Peter, who has dodged beams of light. <clears throat> um, yes, Barbara could maybe scale to Bruce. <clears throat> but apparently Gwen still has the symbiote in which she could kill... Bar she could just kill Barbara. She can kill Barbara. I know she's gonna kill Barbara with the symbiote. <clears throat> Although she can't do, can't do, like, the normal symbiote, like the mainstream symbiote. So... Oh, goodness. Uh, I have a feeling that they're gonna pull something out. I have a weird feeling that they're gonna pull something out of here. But at the same time, I know that the symbiote is going to somehow kick in. And I know Barbara's gonna be dead. So, at this point, I'm still gonna go with Spider-Gwen. I'm going with Spider-Gwen because I still think she would win in most of those categories. Speed, not just speed but also uh, durability, and plus arsenal, and plus the fact that she had a bit more experience. If she does, I haven't read her in a while. I haven't read her in a long time. So anyways, uh, let's get on to this, okay? Here we go. Alright, so let's get back into this. Sorry, I got a little interrupted. Three, two, one, go. Battle! battle! Alright, I know who's... Gwen's gonna win. Here we go. Hello. Barbara? Please do all curses. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Where is she going? Hi Gwen. You here? Stupid thing. I said take me to Miles, not this one. Okay. Oh! The one who has spider powers can beat the one who is trained by Batman. Seems like you're the stupid one for dropping by unannounced. Don't you treat your guests well. Fight! There you go. One who! The one who has spider powers can beat the one trained by Batman. Oh! Oh! Point taken, Dracula. Get out of your hair. Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! It's all... No, oh, no! It's not going to work. Oh! You can! Fight! Boom!
Uh oh. Oh, she can survive. Oh, spider people survive from being shocked. Oh, no. Is it? I'll find you. You're on my turf. Oh. Too late. No. Gwen. Oh, Gwen. Gwen. Okay, she's still alive. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Blank is still survived. Hey, the grapple gun's not gonna do anything. There we go. Yay! Fist bump! Oh! She can dodge. Oh, nice Spider-Man 1. Oh, nice Spider-Man 1 reference. Guys, did, wow. Guys, did you see that? Guys, did, 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 did you see that Spider-Man 1 reference? Did you see that Spider-Man 1 reference? Guys, look at this. Wow, it was so crazy how they referenced the very first, the first Spider-Man movie. <laughs> you know that scene when the Green Goblin throw, tries to throw... One of his little, one of his throw one of his knives at um, at P at Peter, Spider Man, and you know that scene in the fire building. Oh, what is it? Oh, that still isn't gonna work. No. What is it? What? Oh. oh my goodness. She just sliced her throat uh, out. Now I have. Wow. That was bloody. Looks like Bat Girl's turned into Splat Girl. Bat Girl yeah. wielded an impressive arsenal with plenty of tools suited to combat Gwen's abilities. Not to mention Gwen was no match for her stellar intelligence. Which made this pretty close. There are plenty of versions no. of this fight where Bat Girl could take down the symbiote with sound and fire. But even with such weaknesses, the ghost spider held enough of her own advantages to take the win more times yes. than not. So, while Bat Girl's training was certainly better, the spider sense is just super broken. Gwen and other Spideys have held up against martial arts masters like Captain America, who mm -hmm. is definitely on par with super ninjas like Batman. Not to mention Gwen was clearly stronger mm -hmm. than Barbara. Plus, Spider-Man survived that skyscraper bomb with the same powers, mm -hmm. which Batgirl definitely wouldn't walk away from. It was way bigger than the building blast that Batgirl barely survived. Hell, Batman's biggest explosion survival feat doesn't even match it. Listen, I know explosions, and by measuring the size of this blast, what I can it? tell it's equal to about 60 tons of DNT. Okay, but well, what's the one? the same math stuff to Spider-Man's, it's more than double Okay. Them. To be frank, Batgirl had the tools she needed to take down Spider-Woman. Gwen was simply stronger, faster, tougher, and made good use of the spider sense, making it extremely difficult for Barbara to land a decisive hit before taking one herself. Mm -hmm. It seems batty, but Batgirl was overwhelmed by a spider when spinning this one in her favor. Jesus webbed. The winner. Is wow. Gwen. Wow. Thanks for checking out that episode of Death Thank you. Battle. If you liked that fight, be sure to check out the new season of RVB that I worked on, RVB Zero. The first episode is Red versus right blue. Right now on roosterteeth.com. Check the link in the description. Okay, what is it? Sanji, Rock. Oh, Sanji versus Rock Lee. Wow. Okay, guys. Well. Okay, this was kind of weird. <laughs> okay, this was weird, but. I don't know about this, but I kind of felt like I got bored. I don't know why, but I got so bored of this.
I don't know why I don't, I feel like I feel a little bored, but it felt like that, okay, this was a little bit better than I expected, but it was still predictable that spider Gwen was going to win. And the next time is Rock Lee from Naruto versus Sanji from One Piece. Thankfully, they didn't have Rock Lee fight Taku. <laughs> I wonder how Kiko's going to react to um, Rock Lee versus Sanji. Okay. And my quick thoughts on this was, okay, this was in... This was alright. Okay, it was a... It wasn't like John Tabone versus Saber Wolf, which was legitimately that, um, why I felt about that. But instead, I'm just gonna say something around this. Okay, so I'm gonna be done talking about this right now. Okay. Um, sorry if this reaction video felt a little bad, it's that I'm trying to get back into these type of videos, which I haven't done it. Okay, make sure to like, comments, subscribe, share this video with others. This is Joseph and I'll see you guys next time.